Hey you, welcome back. I am Nat from Nat's Numbers, also known as the Numerology Chick over on Instagram. And I am so grateful that you are here with me on numerologist.com because this is our first monthly forecast of 2022 and I cannot wait to share it with you. Welcome to your January 2022 Numerology Guide. So before I dive into January, I want to give you a quick overview of what this new year is all about. It's very different from 2021. 2021 was a five universal year. It was about change and up leveling and um, going on a grand adventure. It was about progress and getting outside our comfort zone and being a little rebellious. You know, a lot of us found ourselves in new jobs, new positions, new lands, new territories. You know, we moved, we are in a new relationship status, right? But then 2022 comes along, a six universal year, the year of the healer. It asks us to settle in and settle down and commit ourselves to this new territory that we find ourselves in. This is really a year of love, of loving and feeding this new land that you find yourself in, of making sure that the, the, the dream that you discovered last year, that you consistently nourish it, that you take care of it. That you allow the environment around you, your marriage, your partnership, your family, your business, that you allow it to bloom. Now, the first sort of cosmic assignment that we're given as we step into January is around the seven. January is a seven universal month. Why would the infinite intelligence behind existence give us this gift? And I think it's also a warning. One of the things that we'll talk a lot about this year that can hold us back when we're in the cycle of the six, when we're in a six universal year, is this propensity that we have to think that to be of service or to be helpful or to create balance in our environment, we must sacrifice ourself and our own needs. We think that being of service means um, adhering to other people's expectations and shoulds of what we should do or who we should be. Yeah? No, Mm -mm. that is not what the six is all about. And the seven is here to remind us of this. This first month of the year is asking us to embrace solitude and serenity. If you thought that January was going to be like, you know, right out of the gates, fast energy, go, go, go. No, 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 no. January is quiet. And there's a magic in that in that silence. There's a magic in taking time to be by yourself, in taking time to really remember, recall, and become intentional about what your personal desires are. Yeah? New beginnings, that's the number one of January, are always catalyzed by personal desires. You, the number one, the individual. (laughs) It's very profound if you think about it. The only way that we can discover new lands and new territories, the only way that we can bring ourselves and other people into the experience of the new is by following our heart, our personal desires. This is a month to understand that to truly be of service, to truly give of yourself, you must make sure that you are sanctifying your personal desires. They are not selfish. They are not greedy. They are seated there by something bigger and greater than you. Make sure to write them down. (laughs) Make sure to talk to your creator. Make sure to ask for help on this precious dream that's on your heart. You can't be of service if you're doing something that doesn't light you up. You can't be of service if you yourself are not enjoying the container that you've created. This is a month to just deepen your roots, deepen your awareness about who you are and what you want moving forward. Because as the year goes on, We are going to be feeding this precious heart-centered dream that you have with many spiritual nutrients. We're going to be feeding it with the understanding and the knowing that if we truly want to create peace and harmony and healing in our family, our community, and the world, 
we're going to have to focus as much attention as possible on these dreams that were placed on our heart. That will change the world. So don't be discouraged if January is quiet, introspective, or slow. Don't be at all upset if you feel this incredible desire to meditate more, to do yoga, to read scripture, to, to dive into the world of the mind and the intellect, to develop a deeper understanding of a problem that's in your life. This is really a time to sink deep, deep down into your inner spiritual life and to focus on your individual desires. They will truly transform your marriage, your family, your profession, your industry, and I believe the world. All right, guys, I cannot wait for us to cover February. It's going to be pretty powerful. I'll see you guys then and make sure to subscribe to the Numerologist YouTube channel and to their newsletter so you will be the first one notified the moment the February forecast comes up and our next cosmic assignment is delivered.